lucky to live in an area with such amazing wildlife all around us. I'm going to show you some of the footage I've been capturing over the last couple of weeks and then I'm going to create a fact file on one of the animals or plants I've documented. I really hope you like it and remember to upload your submissions to Google Classroom or send them to your teacher. again to do a little bit of pond dipping so we'll see if we can find some wildlife. It's really important when you're pond dipping that you come with an adult and that you read the instructions here that tell you how to do it safely and responsibly. If you do catch anything just make sure that you return anything that you catch to the pond and don't move them anywhere else because it's actually against the law to move animals, wild animals, from one place to another. So. I have a net here, I bought this on eBay for £3, so it's a little net but it extends but it's really good for reaching down so you don't have to lean too much over the water. So we're going to have a little pond dip now and we'll see what we can find. I'm laying flat on my stomach and I'm making sure when I'm putting the net into the water that I'm not churning up the bottom too much because remember this is where animals live so we don't want to spoil their habitat at all. So just slowly move it through the water and then hopefully you'll catch something. We managed to catch a smooth newt. Here he is, just swimming around in the bucket. He's not too worried. I forgot to say, you've got to make sure you fill up whatever container you've brought. We've got an old washing up bowl here. But yes, do make sure that's full with some pond water before you try to put any animals in it because obviously they're pond animals, they don't want to be in anywhere dry, especially not on a hot day like this. We've caught this very interesting insect here. I've done a little bit of research and we think it could be a nymph which is a baby dragonfly. So this is before it grows its wings and leaves the pond. I might be wrong though, so if you do know what it is, please let us know. When you've finished, ask an adult to carefully pour anything you've caught back into the water. It's very important to do this carefully so that you don't hurt any of the animals. Now you've returned the wildlife, sanitize your hands by washing them or using hand sanitizer. Have fun and be responsible. The sun's about to go down and I've had a little wander up to Lesnes Abbey and across through the woods. I'm just at the pond here looking for bats, so we'll see if we can see some. managed to observe the local wildlife you can come back and create your fact file. I decided to paint mine and write the information about each animal or plant around the edge. I chose blackberries and a bumblebee. You don't have to do yours like this, you can draw, paint or even take a photograph and put your information around the edge or do everything on Google Classroom. Don't worry if you haven't managed to get outside, you can use some of the animals or plants seen in my video.